China, a nation renowned for its ancient history, has in recent decades emerged as a global powerhouse, flexing its economic and technological muscle. This rapid ascent has been fueled by a relentless pursuit of innovation and self-reliance, with a particular focus on developing homegrown industries. From high-speed rail networks to cutting-edge advancements in artificial intelligence, China aims to lead across various sectors. Aviation, a symbol of technological prowess and national pride, has become a key area of focus for the Chinese government. With a rapidly expanding middle class and a burgeoning domestic travel market, the demand for air travel in China has skyrocketed. Recognizing the strategic importance of aviation, China has invested heavily in developing its indigenous aircraft manufacturing capabilities. technologically advanced aircraft. In the annals of aviation history, the emergence of a new major player is rare. Yet, China, with its characteristic ambition, is undeterred. At the forefront of this challenge is COMAC, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, tasked with developing and producing commercially viable passenger aircraft. COMAC's first foray into the market, the C-919, a narrow-body aircraft, garnered significant attention for its technological advancements and the symbolic challenge it posed to the established order. The year 2011 marked a pivotal moment in COMAC's journey as it took a bold step towards realizing its wide-body aspirations. COMAC recognized the strategic importance of entering the wide-body market, a segment dominated by Airbus and Boeing. The company announced plans to develop two wide-body aircraft, each targeting a specific segment within the long-haul market. The first, the C-929, was envisioned as a twin-engine aircraft capable of accommodating up to 290 passengers. The second, the C-939, with a seating capacity of up to 390 passengers, aimed to rival the Airbus A350 and Boeing 777. These announcements signaled COMAC's intent to challenge the established duopoly on their own turf. As COMAC delved deeper into wide-body aircraft development, it recognized the value of forging international partnerships. In 2012, COMAC announced discussions with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation to explore a joint venture for a new wide-body aircraft. This collaboration, driven by a shared ambition to challenge Airbus and Boeing, marked a significant development in the global aviation landscape. The CR-929 project encountered turbulent skies as it navigated the complexities of global supply chains and geopolitical realities. The COVID-19 pandemic disrupted the flow of goods and materials essential for aircraft manufacturing. Escalating geopolitical tensions and sanctions on Russia further complicated the project, raising concerns about its long-term viability. of some Boeing 787 variants. COMAC has set its sights even higher with the C-939, aimed at the top end of the market, currently dominated by the Airbus A350 and Boeing 777X. The C-939 is expected to be a twin-engine aircraft with a seating capacity of around 390 passengers. The aircraft is intended to have a range of approximately 7,000 nautical miles, enabling it to serve ultra-long-haul routes. One of the most critical aspects of developing any aircraft is securing reliable and efficient engines. 
For COMAC, the engine selection process for its new wide-body aircraft is further complicated by geopolitical considerations. The C-929 requires engines capable of producing between 270 and 300 kilonewtons of thrust. This situation has highlighted the strategic importance of developing indigenous engine options to reduce reliance on external actors. The development and production of modern commercial aircraft rely on complex global supply chains. For COMAC, establishing and managing these supply chains effectively is crucial for ensuring timely production and quality control. The company faces several challenges, including geopolitical uncertainties and the ambition to achieve greater self-sufficiency. COMAC recognizes the need to diversify its supplier base and develop indigenous alternatives for critical components. Developing technologically advanced wide-body aircraft is only half the battle for COMAC. The company also faces the daunting task of scaling up its production capacity to meet potential demand. This challenge involves building new factories, ensuring a steady supply of skilled labor and streamlining manufacturing processes. COMAC's current production capacity is dwarfed by that of its established competitors, Airbus and Boeing. For any aircraft manufacturer, obtaining international certifications is a prerequisite for commercial success. These certifications attest to an aircraft's safety, airworthiness, and compliance with stringent international standards. For COMAC, securing these certifications for its C-929 and C-939 wide-body jets is essential for gaining access to key international markets. The certification process is rigorous, time-consuming, and often politically charged. Navigating this complex process will be crucial for establishing the credibility of COMAC's wide-body aircraft. The global aviation industry operates within a complex geopolitical landscape that can significantly impact market dynamics. For COMAC, navigating these geopolitical realities is essential for the success of its C-929 and C-939 wide-body aircraft. One of the most significant challenges is the rivalry between China and the United States, particularly in technology and trade. This rivalry has manifested in trade disputes, export restrictions, and increased scrutiny of Chinese companies operating in the United States. The aviation industry, a significant contributor to global greenhouse gas emissions, faces mounting pressure to reduce its environmental footprint and transition towards more sustainable practices. This pressure comes from a confluence of factors, including increasing public awareness of climate change, stricter environmental regulations, and the rising cost of fossil fuels. For COMAC, developing and launching new wide-body aircraft like the C-929 and C-939 amidst this energy transition presents both challenges and opportunities. The company must balance its ambition to compete with established players with the need to address sustainability concerns and position itself as a responsible stakeholder in a carbon-constrained world. One of the key challenges for COMAC is designing and manufacturing aircraft that meet increasingly stringent environmental regulations. International organizations like the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, are implementing stricter standards for aircraft emissions and noise pollution, requiring manufacturers to incorporate fuel-efficient technologies, reduce their reliance on fossil fuels, and explore alternative propulsion systems. COMAC, while still developing its technological capabilities, must keep pace with these evolving regulations to ensure its aircraft can operate in key international markets.
prioritize Comac's aircraft in their fleet expansion plans. While the potential of China's domestic aviation market is undeniable, Comac recognizes that achieving its ambition of becoming a global player requires venturing beyond its borders and securing a foothold in the international market. This international expansion presents both challenges and opportunities for Comac, as it seeks to overcome skepticism from airlines and passengers accustomed to established brands like Airbus and Boeing, navigate geopolitical complexities and build a global reputation for quality, reliability, and safety. One of Comac's key strategies for international expansion is forging strategic partnerships with foreign companies and airlines. These partnerships can take various forms including joint ventures, technology transfer agreements, and component sourcing arrangements. By collaborating with established players in the industry, Comac can gain access to critical technologies, tap into existing supply chains, and benefit from the experience and expertise of seasoned partners. Such collaborations can also help alleviate concerns about Comac's relative lack of experience in the international market and build trust with potential customers. The emergence of Comac as a serious contender in the global aviation industry signals a potential shift in the balance of power, challenging the long-standing dominance of Airbus and Boeing. While it is still too early to predict whether Comac will succeed in dislodging these industry giants, its ambition and the resources at its disposal suggest that the aviation landscape is poised for a period of increased competition and potentially significant change. The impact of Comac's rise will be felt not only in the commercial marketplace, but also in the geopolitical arena, as nations adjust to a multipolar aviation industry. One potential consequence of Comac's emergence is increased competition in the global aircraft market, which could benefit airlines and passengers in the long run. With a new player vying for market share, airlines will have more choices when it comes to acquiring aircraft, potentially leading to better pricing, more favorable financing terms, and a greater focus on innovation and customer satisfaction. This increased competition could also incentivize established players like Airbus and Boeing to become more efficient, responsive to customer needs, and innovative in their product development, ultimately benefiting the entire industry and the traveling public. The emergence of Comac, with its ambitious plans to challenge the Airbus-Boeing duopoly, has sent shockwaves through the global aviation industry. The company's foray into wide-body aircraft manufacturing, once viewed with skepticism, is now a tangible reality, as evidenced by the development of the C-929 and C-939. These aircraft, designed to compete head-on with established models from Airbus and Boeing, represent a potential paradigm shift in an industry long accustomed to a two-player system. The impact of Comac's rise extends beyond the commercial marketplace, carrying significant geopolitical implications as well. For decades, the global aviation industry has operated under the shadow of the Airbus-Boeing duopoly, with these two giants dictating the terms of competition, innovation, and pricing. This duopoly, while fostering technological advancements and economies of scale, has also faced criticism for its market dominance and the potential for complacency. Comac's entry into the wide-body market has the potential to disrupt this established order, introducing a new level of competition that could benefit airlines and passengers alike. The prospect of a viable third player in the market has already spurred both Airbus and Boeing to become more aggressive in terms of pricing, innovation, and customer service, as they seek to defend their market share against a rising challenger. The aviation industry is not known for its rapid transformations. Developing, manufacturing, and successfully marketing commercial aircraft, particularly large wide-body jets, is a complex, capital-intensive, and time-consuming endeavor. Comac, while making significant strides, is still a relative newcomer to this demanding arena, and its quest to challenge the established order is best viewed as a marathon, not a sprint. The company faces a long and arduous journey, fraught with challenges and uncertainties, before it can claim a place among the industry's elite. One of Comac's biggest challenges is overcoming the experience gap with Airbus and Boeing. These industry giants have been designing, manufacturing, and supporting commercial aircraft for decades, accumulating a wealth of experience, expertise, and a deep understanding of the intricacies of the global aviation market. Comac, while benefiting from the transfer of some technology and expertise through joint ventures and partnerships, still needs to develop its own indigenous capabilities, build a seasoned workforce, and establish a track record of success to earn the trust of airlines and passengers worldwide. 
This process of accumulating experience and building a reputation takes time and cannot be rushed. Despite the challenges, Comac's emergence as a potential challenger to the Airbus Boeing duopoly represents a significant development in the global aviation industry. Regardless of whether Comac ultimately succeeds in dislodging these giants, its presence is already forcing a re-evaluation of long-held assumptions about the industry's future. The aviation landscape is shifting towards a more multipolar system, with new players like Comac, driven by ambitious governments and a desire to capture a share of this strategically important market, entering the fray. This shift towards a multipolar system is likely to have profound implications for the future of flight, influencing everything from aircraft design and manufacturing to airline operations and the geopolitical dynamics surrounding aviation. One potential consequence of a more multipolar aviation industry is increased competition, which could benefit airlines, passengers, and the global economy. With more players vying for market share, airlines would have more choices when it comes to acquiring aircraft, potentially leading to better pricing, more favorable financing terms, and a greater focus on innovation and customer satisfaction. This increased competition could also incentivize established players like Airbus and Boeing to become more efficient, responsive to customer needs, and innovative in their product development, ultimately benefiting the entire industry and the traveling public.